Alright, welcome back. Two more Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> we And smack. There we go. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> Off I go. Now that I actually know where I can get someone to help out with the stuff, or like for uh, helping out the followers of the Apocalypse, gonna go straight over there, and then we're gonna go talk with Mick and Ralph, so that way then I can see about a few things. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, they did tell me that they have guns over there, so let's go see what type of guns they got. But then also, too, they could also help out with the sex bot, so... Oh, they can't, can't they? I can at least find that. Yeah. Do 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 Let's see now. Oh, yeah, I think she's... Yeah, I think she's still in her house, or in her room. Mm. Go see her, go talk to her really quick. Hello, Julie. How goes it? Welcome. Okay, I think I found someone who will be able to cover your supplies. That's phenomenal. Who did you find? The Garrett twins. They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? Alright, you get your chems and you can help anyone who gets addicted. With the surplus of the supplies, you could use your caps and influence to expand. They just need tech support and raw materials. Or actually, with a surplus of supplies, you could use your caps and influence to expand. Mm. That's actually pretty good and pretty smart. Oh, it is. Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garrets we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. There you go. And goodbye. All right. Yeah. It doesn't really give me that that much experience for it, but um. Oh wait, no. I think I need to finish the deal. What? Uh, let's see now. Shoot. Um. Okay. It, this isn't exactly like a quest per se. It, it's weird. It doesn't really show up as a quest. Okay, but. It really is, so. Yeah, it is. You, you go there, you go talk to them, they say that they need this, you go talk with Julie Farkas, and then you're supposed to go back and talk to them. I don't know if I actually gain any experience from this, but if I do, then this is actually a bug in where they didn't actually, you know, make oh, this into a quest. Really? Yeah. And of course, you know, it is technically, it, it doesn't feel much like a quest, it's just going back and forth and back and forth, but yeah. you know. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Yeah, it is still technically a quest. But before we go back over to speaking to the Garrett twins, I want to go see Mick and Ralph. Because they're in like the same location. And ho hopefully with, what time is it now? Cannot wait with enemies nearby. Oh, okay. Hey, guys! Had enough? Oh, yeah. Got one. And... There we go. Haha. Oh. <laughs> uh, you got a lead pipe on him. Okay. This one had a pool cue. Ah, okay. I can't wait until I get the Jerry Rig perk. I know you love that so much. I do. <laughs> Just be able to like fix anything. Yeah. It's a huge help. Oh yeah. Then I could take like even some of like the lesser like items or the weaker items that I don't really use and be able to fix higher grade items that I like. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. So, definitely do that. Okay. Alright. Hello, Ralph. If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice selection of general supply. Alright, well, what do you have in stock? Take a gander. Okay. He's got food, he's got grilled mantis, he's got hydro, which is good. I'm gonna take that. What was the hydro for again? Restores your limbs. Oh, 
Ooh, that's important. Yeah. Just from the last time around where I got my butt kicked when uh, dealing with the ghouls. <laughs> yeah. Let's see now. Now oh, that works for me. Can I give him anything or switch anything out? Uh, I can give him. Nah, nothing there. Let's see. Keep the combat stuff. Keep all that. Uh, Brock Flower definitely keep. Fixer, fixing thing. I'll get rid of the jet. I have like no need for it in this one. Really? Yeah, all it does is just up your, um, give you more AP for when you do your VAT attacks. Uh -huh. And, yeah, I might need it here and there, but if you quickly take care of everything, you know, you're fine. Yeah, yeah so let's see. Get rid of the other stuff. Uh, the cigarettes. There you go. Mantis saves, I'll hold on to. Eh, that works. Another satisfied customer. Alright, do you offer any other services? I only offer services if the king gives the okay. Press him and we can talk. Alright. A resourceful with a stupid tongue, hi! <laughs> a resourceful fellow such as yourself must have something on the side. Alright. Yeah, I've got a little side business going. Leveled up. What I'm about to share with you does not leave this room, huh? Years have gradually perfected my craft to the point of perfection. No one can distinguish between my work and the real thing. What I'm referring to is passports. If you've got the caps, I can whip up a strip passport which will fool even the most well-trained eye. Ah, now I see why you want to keep this low key. Hey, if you're interested and have the caps, they go for 500. Any less, and it ain't worth the risk of getting caught. What do you say? You game? Hmm. Uh, I need to up my bartering skills a bit more. Alright, too steep for my blood. Maybe later. No problem. If you need one later, just stop in. Alright. And, uh... <laughs> Followers are looking to set up a supply deal. We don't have the stills and equipment to supply the amount of meds they're looking to purchase. You could check with other wasteland merchants, but I think your best bet would be the Atomic Wrangler. They've got a bunch of stills and a seemingly endless supply of grain alcohol could be used as anesthetic or disinfectant. I would love to know if there were other stills or other people that I could actually do this trade depot with and actually help them out. That would be cool. I, I don't know if there is. I always just went straight to the Atomic Wrangler. Cool. Alright, well, would you happen to know where I could find a sex bot? <laughs> are you some kind of machine fetishist or something? The Garrett's are looking to satisfy certain customers. Well, the only place I know of locally would be Cerulean Robotics. That place has been overrun by vermin for years. If you want to check the place out, you can find it on the west side of Freeside. The entrance is on the back side of the building. Just watch out for thugs. The rats aren't the only vermin you need to worry about. Alright. Is there a holotape or anything I need for the sex bot? I don't know of any. If you give me a few days and some caps, I think I could probably make one on my terminal. Okay. Data modules are rare, but generally useless. How about Hunter for your work? Ralph, I've been a loyal customer. Not really been a loyal customer. Ralph, I've been directing a lot of business. Just call it a favor. Mm. I, I could do the speech 50. Why not? Okay. Hey, it's free. Yeah. Uh, come back in a couple days, and I should have it ready for you. There you go. Goodbye. Come back anytime. All right. Now also I leveled up, which is perfect. Up this to 45. Up this to 30. And what else? I don't know. Hmm. Oh yeah, explosives. Okay, put it into explosives. There you go. That works for me. Shazam. <laughs> Hello, sir. Who's walking into a fridge? <laughs> Okay, that's Welcome to fun. Mick and Ralph's. Yeah. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general supplies and other services, see my partner Ralph. Alright. Um. Those are lurking to work out a supply deal. Are they looking to buy guns? No. Then talk to my partner, Ralph. <laughs> Alright, well, so do you have any special items for sale? Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? No. In that case, yes I do. Follow me. 
There you go. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. That's a, that's a funny quote. <laughs> All right, so we got blade gauntlets, boxing gloves, brass knuckles, C4, Ooh, baseball bats and 10 millimeter pistols, grenade machine guns. I actually need to buy one of those. Do you? Yeah, I always love the grenade machine guns. Nail boards, long fuse dynamite, plasma grenade, power fist, a ripper, sawed off shotguns, silenced pistols, spike knuckles I like. They're always really good. Throwing knives and hatchets. Tire iron, relaxing wear. I can even get some naughty nightwear. <laughs> yeah, they always did. They did a great job of all the different types of stuff that you could actually purchase in here. All right, cram, ammo. Eh, I'm okay. But it was cool seeing the wares. I gotta wait a couple of days on a hollow tape for the sex bot. Yeah. But I don't. Oh, I do now have enough for repair, so I could actually go back over to the bloomers really quick. Well, you can. Yeah. Good. Just nice and quick and easy. Gain some more experience off of that. Hey, buddy. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Hmm. Oh, another stim pack. Nice. They have been super helpful with the stim packs. Alright, well then, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll use one. There you go. Nice, get to heal up a bit. But also, too, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll kill some time and go back over to the, the boomers. So, where are you? Uh, Nellis Array is over there. Good. We'll fix up the array really quick. Although I wish you would have gotten as much experience as uh, how much it needs skill point wise to repair. Yeah, that was good. Sadly, I only get like 30 experience for each array that I fix, but you need like a repair of 65. Oh jeez. Yeah, it's it's just really not worth it. No, it's not. Well, not really worth it per se, but it's not really balanced, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I would like it to be more balanced and just be like, hey, can you at least give me 50 experience? Because you're asking a lot in repair. Yeah. I can understand for not... I can understand maybe a lower amount of experience you get for this if you actually uh, salvage other arrays from other places. Mm -hmm. And then just install it here. That would make sense. But if you're able to fully fix up a broken uh, array without actually needing it, I say you actually should be paid for what you're worth. I agree. Alright. It's also pretty late in the day. Here we go. Make it earlier. There you go. Sunshine. I need that because I also want to go ahead and uh, readjust the arrays. Okay, now where is the thing? Okay, this is where all the arrays are, but I just need to climb up there. There we go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. All right, see, like a busted reflector, you need 65 to repair it. Mm -hmm. So here we go. I've got myself one fixing thing. So here we go. And repair the array. Boom, that one's good. Boom, there we go. I got like 40 experience for it. That's not half bad. No. Oh no, okay. That one was 30, I guess. Whatever. Okay, where's all the arrays that need to be repaired? There we go. Uh huh. There we go. Is that all of them? I think so. All the broken solar arrays are repaired. Sweet. Alright, now we have to go over here, as we go over to the Array Command interface, and I think you need a Science of 50? Yeah, you need a Science of 50. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see now. What is your Science level? My Science is at a 30. Mm -hmm. But, Programmer's Digest, boom, it's a 50. Awesome. I planned ahead. <laughs> that was great. Alright, optimize the Array alignment. 
There you go. Oh, wait. Check the array efficiency. It's at 120% efficiency. All oh, with just a simple readjusting. It would be kind of cool to see them all move and be readjusted. Yeah. But there we go. They're all fixed. They're all good. Now I can actually go ahead and speak to Loyal and go tell him the job is done. We fixed it. We did ourselves a good little sciencing of it all. We're good. Alright, a... Definitely a long trip back. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's eh, okay. Over here we go. Into the room. Or into the hangar. Alright. Yeah, there he is. So, hello, outsider. Need something? All right. I repaired the solar arrays. Well, how about that? Turns out you aren't completely useless working with your hands. There you go. Ooh, we got 400 experience for it. Not bad. Can I get a code to use the VR pods in the mess hall? No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. I'm genuinely interested in your people's history. What are the pods for? Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. We dream to one day rule the skies. All right. Bye. <laughs> there you go. I'm idolized by him. Hey. Mm. Hey, Jack. Thank you for getting me here. Jack is a great guy. There you go. Oh, she's she's happy. That's good. Mm. I've never been so happy in my entire life. <laughs> so is he. Can you think of any way I can help out? Like I said, I can never get enough scrap metal. Let's talk about something else. Ah, well, what do you do here? Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work in robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? All right. What, do you, what can you tell me about Loyal? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years. So a younger's got to learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. Okay, time for me to go. Later. All right. Another thing done over here. The last thing would actually be uh, just uh, listening to Pete's history or whatever. So there is you that. You already did listen to Pete's history. I did, but I'm also didn't. So I'm going to be going back uh, through it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I kind of remove that. <laughs> okay. I wanted to go ahead and gain all the experience from it, but I need like I need two more points into explosives. I need like twenty more points into survival. Five more points into speech. Um. And also, I think science needs to be up a little bit higher for the Geiger counters. Although I think they might have just been for thirty, but I don't know. But as far as everything else goes, I have helped out with all that other stuff. So Pete is the last one. I could always go into the schoolhouse and take a few other magazines if they got them. Mm -hmm. What? Hello, kids. Jesus, there's a lot of you. You think with all this radiation it would make you sterile, but nope. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hello. You're interrupting class, outsider. Goodbye. Don't get blown up. Very well. Have fun in school, kids. Hopefully you'll learn more than I ever did. <laughs> it was a big investment. It was. It was a bad investment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even if it's a for-profit college, it still does not actually go for education. Mm, that's a shame. Yeah, I know. But, eh. That's all on me. Certifications are the way to go. They're great. Yeah. So, that's one thing I'm going to be focusing on, but I think I'm also going to be ending this one right here. Say, hey, thanks for anyone watching. Have a great day. See ya.